so what I was doing, I don't want to remember it like later, so I, but I don't want to have to rethink it. So, so what I was doing was I was sitting at this bar, right, and all these other five guys that I was bullshit with, right, they're uh, coming to find out. They all, I kind of figured they worked for the lodge or something. Well, the one next to me, his grandfather started the whole thing. And so he's basically, you know, just works there as kind of a mechanic. This mechanic appears to be like a pretty cool job, I guess, over there to some degree. So all these guys are like lift mechanics. So they basically snowboard all through season because they do all the major renovations and, and, and you know, maintenance and shit on the off season, right? So during the season, they mostly just snowboard and hang out and fuck around and do whatever they want, right? Drink IPAs. Drink IPAs and just <laughs> get rowdy, you know? And so, uh, anyway, so I, you know, they kind of start easing out one at a time, kind of leaving, right? So the two of them stay there. One of them is this dude named Matty, and he's just a freaking animal, bro. But he's, uh, he's not drinking at all. Like, he's drinking Diet Cokes. And so, you know, I'm asking him why doesn't he doesn't drink anything. He's like, dude, I'm a freaking addict. I'm a, I, I've had to cut myself off of everything. I can't stop. I'll have one IPA. The next thing you know, I'm freaking, you know, smoking a blunt, and I'm fucking out. I'm fucking blowing lines of cocaine, and then I'm fucking out. You know what I mean? It's like, I better just go. when he sees it, though. You gotta, yeah, yeah. Go, you gotta give him a high five yeah, for that. Yeah, he's like, there is no turning it off for me. He's like, I've been, I've been totally 100% clean for three years. I'm gonna take aspirin. Right? That's good for him. Yeah. And so, uh, but he's but he's still a wild man. You know what I mean? You still tell. You know what I mean? He's just sober. Right? He's kind of a really cool guy, actually. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so, and then the other guy, he's um, he's more, he's probably more like me. You know, I mean, we're just pounding IPAs, <laughs> <laughs> talking about chicks and fucking whatever. You know, like just a, just a normal guy. Right? So um, his name is Nick. His name is Nick Champion. So we, um, I end up hanging out with those two, and like the bar closes at six, right? So we're only in there. From, in the morning? No, in the afternoon. Oh. So we're only in there from four, and they went a little longer with us. So we're only there from four to like six fifteen or whatever, and just enough time to pound about shit. I don't know a bunch of these hop rise and IPAs right here, and um, super good. But man, you should hammer, right? Yeah. So and and then I was buying shots of whiskey. Or, uh, we're doing shots, we're slamming IPAs, right? So then we're like, all right, work is still open, you know? So we go over and say, tell us about this place down in Solitaire called uh, the Thirsty Squirrel. And I'm like, no, I gotta go to any, if the place is called Thirsty Squirrel, I gotta go, right? So, <laughs> so we go to the Thirsty Squirrel, same deal, man. We're just pounding IPAs again, more, 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 more. Freaking, uh, and then, so we go back there like, all right, well, uh, let's go, we're gonna stop at our, our place or whatever. I'm riding with them. We stopped by their house. They got this three-story house with a two of them rent out or some shit. And they, dude, it's stripped out. It's, it's like a full-blown bicycle motorcycle shop. There must have been 250 bicycle tires, like, like literally, like racks of them. Like it's organized like a, like a, like a bicycle shop. And I, I guess they do that shit on the side or something. Right, I didn't really get the whole story. We we're too busy just freaking drinking. <laughs> but there's a. Uh, they're, 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 they're eat up with, you know, like spokes and wheels and shit, just gear. Like, if you want anything done with your bicycle, these fucking guys, they had, like, literally, they had 200, they had a whole level in the house with nothing but bicycle parts, right? And so, um, so anyway, they, uh, and they're, they're mechanics down there, they're just, they fuck around, they ride bikes, they record it, you know, whatever. Really cool guys, actually. You really like them. So then we freaking go and say, okay, hey, we're gonna hook you up. We're gonna fucking blow your mind. I'm like, yeah, 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 man, what, what, what? All right, let's go back to the room, put on all the gear you got, everything. Fucking goggles, all your snowboard gear, gloves, fucking snowboarding boots, snowboarding jacket, pants, everything. Everything. Get, get geared up, right? And it's freaking pitch black dark out, right? High mile hour winds, cold as fuck, right? Snowing a little bit. The moon's out, it's a full moon basically almost, but it's diffused, it's cloud cover, so you can't really, you can barely fucking see. You can see because it's white snow, right? And it's just lit up enough to where you can like, you know, see the snow versus the trees and shit, right? We go out there, onto the slopes, fucking jump on these badass 800 fucking cc 
snowmobiles, dude. Fucking crank these motherfuckers up and start riding these things in pitch black condition, dude. I'm standing, me and this dude, Nick, or fucking each on one, we're on the same one. He can't ride for it, just let me shred this thing, because I don't really know how. I've never rode them before, I don't know the slopes, all this shit, but they do it every night. So instead, he let me, I had my left foot on the peg and my right knee on the seat. He had his left knee on the seat and his right foot on the peg. So we're like side by side, and we each have, I have the handle, left handle. Are like kind of lobbed up? No, no, we're just, we're side by side on this motherfucker. And there's a there's a, a cable loop in the middle, right? And so we each got our middle, our hand, my right hand's on his, the left hand's on it. So we're like just flying. So he's, I, I have the left bar, so I can control it a lot, but he can kind of, he's got the right bar on the throttle, so he can, you know, kind of control it too, you know what I mean? So it's like, I am driving at this speed, right? But he's kind of, you know, doing it too, you know what I mean? It's the, there's no way I could have ever gone this fast and had control otherwise. You know what I mean, it was like fucking all the right? So we're shredding. I mean, I'm talking about 70 miles an hour fucking up the fucking hills, like the snow, the, the snowboard hills. Dead black fucking night, no headlights on, just eating it, dude. Wow, these things are so powerful and so fast and so much takeoff. It's just blowing my fucking mind, dude. And we're just cutting up and coming down, taking like snow. Why did you lights on? You didn't want them? The, the one we were on, I don't know, it didn't, the fucking lights didn't work or something. I don't know, there's just one lights on. There's no rolling too many times. Yeah, there's just no fucking lights. Right? So we're just rolling. And, and it was just the most insane situation I've ever been. Like literally, at some points, they had they had two other snowmobiles with us, and we're just riding. I mean, you just hear them, and you know, you kind of see them and everything, but it was dark, right? But and and just hollering. At one point, we're all three coming down the fucking mountain on one of these like really good snowboard, like like a blue, you know, like a blue that curves and it's got wide, and we're just going so fucking fast, dude. And we just like the moon kind of popped out. We're all start like howling at the moon, dude. Oh! as loud as we could, flying down the mountain on this fucking high performance snowmobiles in pitch black darkness with just with diffused moonlight, dude. It was the fucking coolest thing I think I've ever done. I mean, it was unbelievable. Unbelievable.